fast motorcycle drag racing fans, let's head to Australia to check out 20 of the most impressive modified bikes out there. Gotta love that GSXR 600 melting the tire. Welcome everybody to Brisbane, Australia. This is famous Willowbank Raceway. This is the largest drag race outside of the United States. We're gonna focus in on the motorcycle category. We're gonna see 20 impressive bikes, even two Harley Davidsons. What is that? Welcome to Willowbank. The fans are pumped along with Harleys. We're gonna see Kawasaki ZX14s, Hayabusa's, the GSX-R 1000s, even a Yamaha R6, a little bit of something for everyone. I wanna know in the comments, what's your favorite motorcycle and why? There's the Harley. You're a Harley fan. Two Harley Davidsons will battle these sport bikes. Males, females, this sport is for everybody. All different walks of life come together in motorcycle drag racing. Another thing that's really cool is, again, this is Brisbane, Australia, and this is what Cycle Drag is all about. It's about showing up. You never know where we'll be anywhere in the globe and giving exposure to anybody who loves high-performance motorcycles. This is round number one of the modified bike class. Are you guys ready to rock? Let's get it on. We'll give you round-by-round -round coverage and meet some of Australia's finest. And we begin with a GSXR 600 coming up. That is Michael Monday, left-hand lane, set to take on Brian Alviso and his Kawasaki, right-hand lane. Look at this packed house for the 52nd annual Gulf Western Oil Winter Nationals. <laughs> Kawasaki CX-14. Look at the unique airbrush paint job. Pretty cool. Let me know if you like it or not, if you're into custom paint. This here is the bracket category, a lot like Pro ET in the United States. The goal is to beat your opponent to the finish line without going under your dowling. You cannot red light. You cannot go under. Oh, speaking of red lights, Brian turns on the red one, and he's going to be sick, guys. He missed it by two thousandths. That hands the win to Brian and his Kawasaki CX-14. We are just getting started here. How about a good old fashioned Hayabusa versus GXR 1000 showdown. Coming up near lane, that's Michael Beaton, one of the toughest racers in Australia. There's the Dowlins, he's dialed into an 844 on the rust bucket Hayabusa alongside Craig Banks and his GSXR 1000. Oh, we're clean and green on this one, no red lights. Who will reach the finish line first? Will it be the Busa? Will it be the GSXR 1000? We got a race. Watch that win. Like, give it to the GSXR 1000. An 050 light. Craig Banks moving on to the next round. All right, Harley fans. This is the one you've waited for. Look at this big, beefy V twin. That is Stephen Day, left hand lane. He's set to take on the Kawasaki CX10 of Russell Bell. This should be a great showdown. Let me know in the comments, are you a Harley loyalist or do you like the Japanese motorcycles? I hope you're enjoying these multiple camera angles as well. Switching it up for you here to give these great Australian motorcycle track racers good exposure on the two-step. Oh, he red lights, he red lights, a red light start for the Harley. 068 on the negative side. Russell Bell's gonna cruise on to the next round. Here comes one of the most gorgeous Suzuki Hayabusa's on the property. Coming up, this is Alan Annis Jr., one of the tough racers in Australia, set to take on Bobby Joe Simmons. We'll look at the Dowlins, 945 left-hand side to an 873 right-hand side. Bobby with the short wheelbase bike, not stretched nearly as much as Alan's. Nice soft lead, but Bobby tattoos the tree 017. Will that equal a win light? No, Allen gets around him at the far end. Allen takes the win, 883 on an 873. Bobby could not run the number. Bring up the next pair. This will be Scott Munch on the Hayabusa alongside Sean Ricketts on his Kawasaki. That's a ZX-12. That was the predecessor of the ZX-14. Kawasaki CX-14 has been out since 2000. 
2006. Before that, the ZX-12 was the way to go. Well, before the race, we caught up with Hayabusa racer Scott Much. Let's check in with him and get his thoughts on race day. Close look at this beautiful motorcycle. Always work to do back in the pits. All right, it is Sunday race day. The rain is finally gone. You're going into the second round of Mod Bike. How are you feeling? Conditions changed overnight, didn't they? Yes, they changed a bit, but we'll just do the best we can. Hit the nitrous and go. There you go. Any uh, any different strategy changes in terms of dialing change or anything? No, mate, no. Just Same dial, dialing? Dial it as fast as it'll go. There you go. That's Nothing it. in your pocket. Just run no, it all out. Run it all out. See what happens. Good luck. 861 is the number on this Suzuki Hayabusa as we head into eliminations. I hope you enjoyed that update back in the pits. We'll see what Scott can do. There's his dial in right hand lane, 861. He's got the Kawasaki CX-12 as Sean Ricketts alongside him, dialed into 944. Reaction time is so critical, so important, often determines winners or losers. Remember, your elapsed time does not start until you leave. So reaction time is a separate category and can really influence who's ahead in the stripe. Oh! ZX-12 with a great reaction time. Scott was late on the tree. He's got a deficit to make up. Wind light coming on for the Kawasaki CX-12. We go from the Kawasaki CX-12 to a great looking Kawasaki CX-14 coming up. Slave Skinner, he's set to take on Alan Irwin. Irwin over there with the GSX-R1000. We'll look at the Dallins, 899 to an 855. Question for you too, I have a question for everyone watching this video. If you are a racer, let me know what you race and where you race. What country, what town, what drag strip. Red light start, the ZX-14 going on to the next round. If you are a fan, let me know what is your favorite drag strip? What is your favorite place to watch them and why? Speaking of fans and talented crew members, oh, don't walk out of your shoes. You can walk right out of your shoes on that VHT glued starting line. It's tacky. Well, the gentleman that we saw moments ago with the ZX-14, here comes his wife. This is the talented Lisa Skinner. The pink machine, left-hand side of the racetrack. She's set to take on the Hayabusa of Dane Brandon. The Suzuki punched out to a 14.41. It's dialed into an 8.42. Lisa dialed in at an 8.99. There's the dial-ins up on the scoreboard. Modified bike. Some of the top racers in Australia. Ready to go. So again, two questions we're asking you. Do you motorcycle drag race? If you do, where and what bike do you have? If you're a fan of this sport, what is your favorite track? And why? Oh man, oh, red light start for Lisa. Lisa misses it with a negative 123. Brandon will go to the next round. He goes 846 on an 842. Would have been tough to beat anyhow. Next pair coming up, this is John Lewis and Ian Reed. Another beautiful Kawasaki CX-14. Near side, the red and black machine. Alongside the Yamaha R6. You guys remember the, I'm sure you're familiar with the Yamaha R6. It's been out since 1999. Makes about 120 horsepower stock, 420 pound wet weight. It's a fast motorcycle. Oh, red light start. You can tell nerves getting the better of a lot of these competitors in front of this massive crowd here in Willowbank. Just missed it with a negative 10. Lewis also goes red, but in bracket racing, it is the first red light that will lose. I heard there's been some talk about changing that, about changing the timing system so the deeper red light loses. But as for now, the rule is first is worse. Do you agree with that? Do you like first is worse? Or would you like to see a change? Next pair coming up here. It's Phil White and his Kawasaki. Take a good look at that beautiful CX-14. Love that motorcycle. Alongside Alvin Dirks on the Suzuki GSX-R1000. GSX-R1000 makes about 140 horsepower stock, light bike. 
420 pounds of that weight. All right, we got a couple green lights. Finally, a fight to the finish. Through the eighth mile we go. Who will pick up the wind light? Top end of this one, give it to Phil White. The Kawasaki CX-14. All right, Harley fans, you've waited. Where's my V-Rod fans? Up alongside the GSXR 1000. V-Rod, produced up until 2017. It was Harley's answer for the Japanese market. A fast double overhead cam liquid cold street rod. Unfortunately, ah, and a red light start. I'm sorry, Harley fans. You guys suffered the big red eyes in this one. The GSXR 1000 of Tammy Goldthorpe, another talented racer, cruises on to the next round. Well, I certainly hope you have enjoyed this coverage. Don't go anywhere because we're not done yet. We're going to give you some bonus coverage from Willow Bank. It's not just about the motorcycles over there. That's what we like to cover and give exposure to, but there's also some incredibly fast pro mods, top fuel dragsters, funny cars. This is a must-see event. If you have never been to a race outside of the United States, put Willow Bank on your bucket list. Again, guys, this is the largest drag race outside of the United States. Let's check out this fast Lucas oil back machine. And remember, the questions that we have for you that I please want everybody to answer if you're watching this. Are you a racer? Are you a racer? If so, what do you race? And where do you race? we got a lot of individuals who watch this channel who don't race, who are simply just fans. If you're just a fan, let me know what is your all-time favorite event or track and why. And we'll read the comments down below and we'll get a good taste of exactly who watches these videos. We appreciate everybody helping the Cycle Drag YouTube channel grow immensely. The goal now, 50,000 subscribers. We've surpassed 40,000. And we thank you guys so much. You never know what drag race we may show up at. We'll give you a little bonus car action. Is more four-wheel drag racing something you'd like to see on this channel? Always going to be primarily a motorcycle channel, but anything in motorsports we love and may be able to show it here. Leave us your thoughts on that. Let's watch this Lucas Oil Pro Flow back big boy. Make a hit. Green light start. This one's going to be a fight to the finish. 732 Dallin. Top end of the racetrack. Wind light right hand side. 891. There you go in bracket racing. It is not how fast you are. It is simply how consistent you are. What a great turnout though. 500 entries is what they had in Willow Bank. Tons of fans. The weather wasn't even that great, as you can see. Overcast skies and drizzles for much of the event, but that did not stop the awesome fan turnout. It was so great to get over there. We hope to get over Willow Bank. As we check out the next player. So much excitement, so much to see. Guys, remember, we need everybody who watches this. If you've watched this far, please make sure you answer the question in the comments. If you're a racer, I don't care if it's two wheels, four wheels, I don't care if it's hill climb, motocross, anything. What do you race and where do you race? And if you're simply a fan, you simply stumbled upon this channel because you're a fan, I want to know what's your all-time favorite venue, favorite event, and why. Those are the questions du jour please answer them let's read them and thank you so much guys for keeping this channel growing thank you for subscribing to cycle drag on youtube thank you for liking cycledrag.com on facebook don't forget much more coming from australia much more already available check out the description we'll put some more links in there for some suggested videos but i'll tell you there are some fast amazing no bar bikes over in the land down under that we are going to continue to shine this spotlight on because they are very impressive. Also guys, if you like top fuel, make sure you check out Chris Matheson and Jay Upton's quest for Australia's first ever five second run. We will showcase that. We will also showcase the turbo and nitrous rivalry. Speaking of nitrous, 
There's a man that knows a thing or two about going fast on a nitrous bike. His video is up right now, the quickest ever nitrous Hayabusa Pass in Australia. It's all available to you. Please check out all the videos on this channel. Hit the subscribe button for sure. Smash the bell and you'll never miss a race. Where would you like us to go? Let us know. You never know where. CycleDrag.com will show up. Thanks so much for all the support, guys. More coming.